Have you ever wondered how it's possible to scratch a CD or a DVD and still have it play back whatever it's storing? The scratch really does affect the ones and zeros on the disc, so it reads off different data from what was stored, but unless it's really scratched up, the bits that it reads off are decoded into precisely the same file that was encoded onto it. Any file, whether it's a video or sound or text, uh, some code, an image, whatever, is ultimately some sequence of ones and zeros. And a simple strategy to correct any bit that gets flipped would be to store three copies of each bit. But what that means is using two-thirds of your space for redundancy. The much more interesting question is how to make it so that errors can be corrected while giving up as little space as possible. For example, using the method that you'll learn about this video, you could store your data in 256-bit blocks where each block uses nine bits, nine, to act as a kind of redundancy, and the other 240...